again to the latest business finance bulletin with me Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services, the commercial finance experts. In this bulletin, how small businesses are using finance, business confidence remains uncertain and Crowdcube hits new milestone. Let's start this week's bulletin by taking a look at how small business owners are spending the cash that they're raising from lenders. Well, this is a question raised of its clients by Liberus, a short-term loan provider. They spoke to business owners about, well, how are you using the cash that we're lending you? And some interesting percentage splits came out. New equipment, 39% and using it for that. Marketing, 34%. Product development, 32%. Keeping up to date, 30%. And keeping afloat, 26%. Now, you can see a great top of the tree is about buying new equipment, really good positive use of funds. But perhaps more worrying in that top five is keeping afloat with just over a quarter of business owners using cash to keep them going. That's obviously a worrying sign. Now this links into the latest figures from UK Finance. Now UK Finance is the umbrella organisation for UK banks and they've just released the amount of total money currently outstanding from banks um, in terms of lending to small businesses as at the end of August. And the figures reveal year on year that there's been a fall of of 2.1% in the total amount of money outstanding to small businesses. Now that fall is one of two things. Well, it means that banks are tightening up and not lending so much to small businesses, or it could mean that small businesses are reluctant to borrow. Probably a combination of both. Also, the UK finance figures took a look at the amount of money held on deposit. In other words, credit balances or cash sitting on business accounts. Now that grew for the year to August by 1.5%. So you think, well, hey, that's not bad, perhaps a growth in the amount of money that businesses are still sitting on. However, compare that to the beginning part of 2018, that growth rate for those years was on average about 5 to 6%. So we can see there's been a fall in the amount of money that businesses are now holding. Could be that businesses are not only not borrowing, but also using their spare cash as well. So shrinking that growth rate. So put all this together and a few worrying signs on the horizon. Let's move on now to business confidence. Now, if you've been watching the news, and to be honest, you can't avoid it, but Brexit is starting to loom very heavily on small business owners' minds and is affecting confidence levels. Well, the latest small business index for the quarter ended August 2018 has been released by the Federation of Small Businesses. And there it reveals that confidence levels are falling. Now, more worryingly, only 29% of business owners say that they expect the last quarter of 2018 to see any improvement. But more worrying, again, is the fact that exports uh, sales appears to be dipping. 27% of business owners surveyed said that they had seen a fall in international sales. Now, that compares to a year ago, August 2017, when only 19% reported a drop in sales. Now, given the, the fact that the UK government is really trying to get businesses to export, that fall in international sales is quite worrying. And rising cost is also looming heavy as well. 72% of business owners are saying that they are seeing their operating cost rising. All of that's coming from increased labour costs, rising utility bills and also increased rents as well. So double whammies coming here, falling sales or stagnant sales and costs going up as well and probably an inability or lack of confidence about passing on increased prices to clients as well. So all in all we've really got probably a quite a challenging last quarter of 2018 ahead of us. Let's finish this bulletin with some positive news and we can rely on Crowdcube to at least give us that bit of a positive boost. Crowdcube are an online equity crowdfunder and they've released the news that they have just supported 100 businesses by raising over £1 million each. Now that's a really good, I uh, can say milestone in this sector because it shows now how accepted equity crowdfunding is, not just at the lower end of the market but with these raises of over £1 million. Crowdcube are also saying that from the early days it used to be private investors and private individuals but for these larger raises they're also seeing venture 
venture capitalists or VCs coming in and investing alongside private individuals. Again, a very good positive sign for the industry and how it is maturing um, in the VC's eyes. So if you're thinking about raising funding via selling equity and you want to check out Crowdcube, just go along to their website, which is crowdcube.com. That's it for another bulletin. As ever, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and a share. It all helps. So that's it. Look forward to being with you next time. In the meantime, have a great, successful and profitable week.